In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the new LoadRunner Enterprise release. First up, the Monitors and Analysis Templates modules are now updated using the latest technologies. You can use the new interfaces to more easily create and update monitors and analysis templates that are used in your tests. For LoadRunner Enterprise systems using an Oracle database, you can now create a project with a custom Oracle user. After your DBA has created a new Oracle user on the Oracle server, you can use this user to create the project. Other project management updates include the ability to rename a domain and project, move a project to another domain, and delete the project's database and repository folder. This release includes enhancements for viewing results. Test data is now automatically uploaded to the project repository at the end of the run. This lets you view results offline without the need for a controller. You can customize the time zone that is displayed for graphs and messages in online and offline results, and sort messages by column values. For enhanced security, you can now configure the LoadRunner Enterprise server to communicate using a TLS SSL connection as part of the configuration wizard. This release includes alert enhancements. The alerts user interface is modernized and a customizable subject line is now included in email notifications. In addition, you can now create customized email templates to change the content and format of messages sent in alerts. Next up, you can view file repository reports. You can use these reports to track file repository usage and see how much storage space is used. You can view usage data at the system and project levels, and in multi-tenant environments, you can see the percentage that each project in a tenant uses. You can now use LoadRunner Enterprise to collect diagnostics data. Specify the percentage of users for which you want to collect data, and LoadRunner generates web page diagnostics for each transaction. And finally, Cloudburst load generators now support Java protocols, which include Java Viewer, Java Record Replay, and Java over HTTP. Check out the Help Center to learn more, and enjoy the new LoadRunner Enterprise release.